Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Abita. This is Abita's Creole Cream Ale. So Abita's from Louisiana, and so Creole is a, um, Creole is a French, kind of like, uh, Creole has to do with like French stuff from Louisiana. I don't know, it sounds super unintelligent, but, um, it's a style of cooking. It's a, it has to do with some of the people that settled there, I believe. Very light smelling. Very light smelling. So this is uh, billed as a very easy drinking beer. Very light pour. Minimal to basically no head. Um, very refreshing color. A light amber, golden, golden amber. Very, very thin. And let's take a first sip. Very drinkable. This is another one of those beers that the hotter it is outside, probably the better it is. 5% ABV. And 13 IBU. Uh, very, very low on the IBU scale. I, it doesn't drink quite that low, but it, it, it is pretty low. Uh, I see on the back of the bottle here it says uh, Creole Cream Ale is crisp and flavorful. Pale malted barley adds a sweet aroma and flavor, balanced by Louisiana grown Blanca Isabel purple rice for a crisp, dry finish. Mildly hopped. And dry hopped with Apollo, Cascade, and Yucanaut hops for aroma and fruit, aromas of fruit and pine. I would agree with all of that. This is definitely a warm weather beer. I'm curious if this comes in cans. This would be a great boat beer if it came in cans. Pretty cool bottle. Um, kind of a muted back. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it may be Bourbon Street or some sort of row of shops or houses or something like that. This is a pretty simple beer. <clears throat> There's not um, a ton of complexity or this is kind of a single noted beer. So you have a lot of beers you have a, a smell, an initial, you, you, you have the smell first. And this smells like a little bit of that lager smell. A little bit of um, light fruits. I'm not quite sure. Maybe like some um, cantaloupe or, 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 or melon. And then some floral and piney notes. But when you first taste it, it's kind of the same flavor throughout. And it, it's kind of a, almost a pilsnery taste, I, but it's an ale. But it's got the very crisp, very clean, light. I would definitely put this in a light category. Uh, this is an easy drinker for sure. 5%, I mean, it's not crazy out ABV. It's not gonna, they're not gonna, I mean, you could probably easily drink half a dozen of these if you're out on a boat or just enjoying a nice afternoon like we are here today. 76 degrees, uh, I got out of work at a reasonable time today. It's still nice and sunny out. Gorgeous, clear blue skies. It's been the last three days we've had. I don't think I've seen a cloud in three days. It's been it's been really, really nice weather here in Orlando. This is good. <clears throat> I'm going to give this a three and a half, though. Because there's really... It's very average. Um... It definitely checks a box. I mean, you don't want every beer to be... Uh, maybe you do. Maybe you want every beer to be great. But usually those great beers are... They're heavier. They're expensive. They're this or that. This is an easy drinking beer. Um, this was uh, $9.99 a six-pack. So it's about the standard price for average craft beer these days. Um, yeah, it just kind of is kind of just is what it is across the board not nothing nothing too special
Um, I mentioned in the last video that I was watching uh, Three Daughters release calendar for a grapefruit shandy. The Abita's release calendar also has some interesting, interesting stuff on it that is coming out shortly, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for that, some of their different um, seasonals and special releases. This, I believe, uh, I'm not sure if this is a year-round release or not. I don't believe this is a year-round release for Abita, so this would probably fall into a limited or special release for them as well. Very easy drinking. And that's the end of that. So until next time, cheers.